Jennifer Jeffrey is a woman of many hats. She's a single mom who works as a seamstress and a teacher. She now embraces agriculture and business, a strenuous dual pursuit that helps her make ends meet. Started farming a couple of years ago. Um, that was for like household use, but then the business opportunity came. Uh, since since I finished when I was finishing school, I I did business, so I had this entrepreneurial mindset from then. So every business opportunity I would look at and try to grab it. So this is where I landed now, and the the farming has you know cooperated into the business. All right, so mainly I cultivate planting. This is for my business, the fish shop and the barbecue business. So my produce from here, I use at the shop. Um, the fruits, right now we have sorrel. I would use those to make uh, juice, drink. Uh, the excess I would sell. Yeah, so, um, and more recently we, we, we reaped some papa and bananas and um, peppers. I use pepper for the business also. Jennifer is one of several farmers, be it women, youth or vulnerable men, benefiting from the Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean project. The project is implemented by the World University Service of Canada and focuses on empowering vulnerable groups. For Jennifer, she has learned a lot about improving her farming and adapting to climate change. What we would do also, we would use bottles, fill them up, you know, bore the hole, adjust the cork so it could but it don't always work because then I would need help from my children to do that and so they don't always, they have to go to school but it's a task in the morning before they go. And um, for the wet season, we have um, drains, yeah, but you know, we still need some more work done for that. So um, for some crops we can't plant during the wet season because of water. So uh, what I plan to do early next year is embark on a shade house project so I could rear, you know, throughout the year. Agriculture is a huge part of Ghana's diversification plans. Growing more food regionally is also part of a Guyana-led plan to help slash the Caribbean community's hefty six billion US dollars annual food import bill. Jennifer is one of many farmers capitalizing on the focus on agriculture, pushing past challenges. I've been able to gain knowledge and some amount of training, right, as to how to overcome these challenges from the organization that's worse. Yeah. And so I've been working on that. Like I plant crops that does not require so much attention. Like for example the plantain and um, the sorrel. Yeah, you just, I just plant those and, you know, take care of them from time to time, and, but they don't require everyday attention. Mm. Yeah, so that's about it. As for my seasoning, I keep those close to me, my kitchen garden. So, <clears throat> I, a little time back, we planted some peanuts down at the back, but again, we had to leave that because of the animals. She also has her mother, Margaret Roberts, helping her too. Together, they trek through the farms and do the strenuous work needed to grow more food. The real value of farming is, is all about time. Um, it's a good foundation for your system, is one. That's why I'm trying to go in now I want to do it as a business. Margaret also spent some years farming to feed her family and selling food, much like Jennifer's pursuits now. And she too hopes her farming venture will expand beyond satisfying their household and small business needs. You know, I must be able to have mini boss, um, them people, them can't and so line up there to get, um, that is my vision, to get produce on a special day of reaping or harvesting. As a mother and daughter dig into the venture, Jennifer hopes many more women will embrace agriculture like she has. I know it is challenging, it is very challenging. Sometimes I barely, you know, in the evening, I barely make it to bed. You have to get a first thing in the morning. It's the, like, as soon as I jump off my bed, it's work. Um, I barely get time for myself. But, you know, keep holding on to that bit of hope and um, plant. Reporting for the newsroom, Vishani Ragabir.